I'm going to do a trampoline pad for my grandson. He, they have a real steep piece of property and it needs a place for him to set his trampoline up. It's, it's really soft ground, except it's loaded with rocks. I'll show you the rocks and stuff as I get to them. We're gonna go ahead and dig this out. Uh, we got a couple days worth of work here, many yards of dirt, but it's the rocks. And also we're gonna test out this new electric backhoe that I built, which it, I've already done some digging obviously, and it's working really well. It has good power, everything that I want. I don't use any gas. It doesn't make any noise, so you can run this while everybody's sleeping if you want, and it doesn't wake anybody up. Uh, many advantages to the electric backhoe. The problem is, you know, the cord does kind of get in the way when you're trying to work, but since the backhoe does sit in just one spot, it works out really well. The, I use the electric tractor to push the dirt that I bring out, I'm pushing it off the edge and making a nice flat area for uh, barbecue or whatever they want to put on it. Um, then I'm going to test out a new uh, carrier that I made for the backhoe to try it out. And once that's done, then I will finish up this job and move on to the next. I will be using my electric backhoe and electric tractor to pull out the dirt and move it over a bank. I'm not trying to say that this backhoe and tractor are the answer to all our dirt moving needs. I feel like these machines fill the gap between the full size tractors and the pick and shovel. They would definitely replace the compact tractor. Notice that the machine stays in place while digging in rock and roots. All four corners are stabilized. There are a lot of rocks on this job. Another advantage of a walk behind design is that I don't have to climb out of the seat to collect the cobbles. Just to be clear, these are not factory made machines. I'm not pushing a product for a manufacturer. I am seeing a problem in our thinking. Most people want to buy a ready-made machine, start it up, sit down and push levers. I've done that in the past. I now see that enjoying the process is also important. I also think that it, it's okay to move. When we sit in the padded seat of a tractor that is designed to completely isolate us from the physical work, we seem to forget that our bodies need movement to stay healthy. What if we just slow it down? What if we are part of the process so we get healthy exercise? We can also make an effort to cut down the pollution and noise. We also see that a task can be done with a much smaller amount of energy if we just think it through. With what it costs to build both machines, it's about the same cost as to build the towable. Plus this tractor will take multiple attachments. The backhoe and tractor would be ideal for digging in enclosed areas, as long as there is a 120 volt 20 amp outlet nearby. 